Hello friends, welcome to my art channel. My name is Alina and today let's paint these beautiful purple chakaranda trees um, using watercolor. Let's first begin with the tree trunk and the branches. So for the tree trunk and the branches, we're going to use a mixture of chrome yellow and black diluted. Use a liner brush, we're just going to outline all the branches, small one to big one. And you know, with the trees painting, you are free to draw any branches uh, uh, where it goes up, it goes down, it goes sideways. The more variety of the branches, the realistic the tree will be. So So now all the branches are established, I'm going to start with the jacaranda flowers. For the flowers, I'm going to use ultramarine blue, purple, and white. With a fan brush, we're going to dilute purples, ultramarine blue, um, or a mixture of both. And then we're just going to tap onto the branches. Um, creating the illusion of uh, there are clusters of flowers um, throughout the tree. Keep tapping the paint onto the branches until you feel that there's enough flowers. To give shadows to these cluster of flowers, I'm going to tap in a little bit of black mixed with Prussian blue for the shadow value. highlights on the flower clusters I'm gonna mix white and Prussian blue and that's gonna create a lighter um, shade of purple bluish adding more layers will create more depth to the painting as well as it will look more realistic so for this painting I really don't want to do too much to the background I'm just going to uh, try something new as if like all the there's a wind that's swift through and then in that moment you capture the chakaranda flowers 
falling down to the base of the tree. In order to create the rain effects, I'm going to use a very hard Brussels fan brush, tap in very dilute paint, and just use a finger and spray that bristles with paint onto the painting. I'm also going to add a little bit of yellow to the center um, background of the painting just so to add a, just an extra depth dimension to the painting. So after letting the painting dry overnight, here I am returning on day two. I'm going to use a liner brush, go over a little bit of detail, add a little bit more dimension to the foliage and the, the flowers. To the tree. I'm also going to add in a little bit of chrome green to give the illusion of uh, there are some leaves left and is in a transition stage between flowering and new leaves. We'll also add some additional highlights to the tree trunk and a little bit of touch up for the painting before it's done. So I'm happy with the result. I'm gonna pull the tape here. Thank you so much for following along and paying with me. If you enjoy this art tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. And I will see you on my next painting tutorial. Thank you, bye bye.